Hello everyone, sorry I couldn't be with you today, but just wanted to make sure you guys had a chance of a couple examples from your predicting products packet. So starting with the single replacement, remember that we want to take a look at our singleton to see what type of element it is. Since it's a metal, we know that it would potentially trade with the K in the Ki compound. So taking a look, we see that on our activity series, calcium is right here and potassium is above it. In this case, because potassium is higher on the list, it is more reactive. It's already in the compound, so this would be an example where there is no reaction. Um, if there had been a reaction, we would simply make the trade, correctly balance our charges in the new formula, and balance the equation. For decomp, remember that you will be in charge of using the coding or the flowchart to be able to identify what type of reactant you have. Here we have a metallic carbonate. According to our pattern, it says it breaks up into a metallic oxide and CO2. So we know that one of our compound products is CO2. And then in this case, zinc being a 2 plus and oxygen being a 2 minus would make our metallic oxide ZnO. When I double check my count, it's already balanced, so this one is good to go. Our last set, double replacement, we have to take a look at our solubility rules. So you guys have a matrix you'll be able to check. I have a reference sheet of solubility rules that applies kind of the similar pattern that's in that matrix. Remember that we have to actually attempt the trade to see what the products would be and then determine if there's a possibility of a solid product. So in this case, if the sodium trades places with the potassium, we could end up with sodium phosphate and potassium nitrate. So let's take a look on these rules. I'll show you a little bit about how this would work. Sodium, potassium, and ammonium compounds are soluble. This list kind of goes in order. So here, since we have a sodium in the compound, this one would be aqueous because we are told it is soluble in water. Notice that our second product, potassium nitrate, also involves one of the ones in that list. So this one would also form an aqueous compound, meaning no reaction for this set. For each product, as you would go through the list, you go through it in order, and once you hit a list that mentions something you have, you apply that rule. Otherwise, you could just use your matrix as provided in your packet for the test. If you have any questions, let me know. I will be very accessible by email today.